turn now, but I'm trying, I'm, I'm a smooth, consistent throttle and I'm modulating everything with that clutch. Okay. The goal, I think we, and I think it's very realistic, I think you could do it, is we'll do this a few more times, then maybe we practice the pop a little bit, but then my next goal for you, I want to start trying this. Where if we're in a turn, I'll have you come to a stop here. This one's nice, it has the big rock here, we can start practicing that. You know, that's a pretty good spot where that happens a lot, I feel like, even on single track where you'll ride up a hill. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, I don't know if you've rode in Mayer, but even a lot of their normal single track trails, all of a sudden you're going up a hill and then they just turn. I'm going to pull up, my front wheel's up facing on the rock, my back tire's already at the corner. Now I can stand up on this rock and apply all the foot pressure to my outside foot peg. You see my bike's rolling backwards, that's where... That's where even with my brake on right now, I'm rolling backwards. That's where that clutch technique comes in. So you'll be applying pressure with that clutch. And right as we're doing this turn, we'll lean in a little bit, weight our outside foot, and give that nice little pop we were practicing earlier. So I'm holding pressure. Okay. Same idea, then you can start with this one. Everything you're doing right now. That one was way far right, and I was in like fourth gear, so hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 